What's up guys? In today's video, I'd like to show you guys how you could lose weight without exercising. Losing weight without exercise is actually totally possible and achievable for anyone. Weight loss is a lot more about nutrition than it is about exercise. There are a couple downsides to losing weight without exercising, but there's still people out there that just hate exercise so much that I decided to make a video to explain how you could do this without ever even putting your sneakers on. There's really two approaches that I've noticed that work great to help you burn fat fast with diet only. One approach is limiting your carbohydrate intake and the second approach is limiting your fat intake. Don't limit both, only limit one or the other and you should try both approaches to see which one works best for your body because everybody responds a little differently to eliminating different macronutrients. Let's start first with limiting your fat intake because I found a way to do this that has worked again and again for a bunch of my clients. The key to limiting fat intake is to set limits not restrictions. You don't want to completely eliminate fat from your diet because fat is very important for the production and the regulation of our body's hormones. Many of these hormones are actually very important and necessary for fat loss. I know it may sound confusing that you need to eat fat to lose fat, but that's just the way our bodies work. So step one of losing fat by limiting your fat intake is to limit it to under 20 to 30 grams of fat per day. Sources of fat include eggs, avocados, dairy, fat found in meats like fish, steak and ground turkey, nuts, and butters and oils. The best way to limit your fats is by not having too much fat from the butters and oils group and try to pick lean cut meats like chicken breast and low fat fish. Remember, it's gonna be pretty easy to exceed 30 grams of fat per day when three whole eggs already give you 15 grams of fat. Make sure that you're tracking your calories when you first start to be sure that you're not exceeding your 20 to 30 gram fat allotment for the day. Once you have limited your fats for the day, you wanna move on to step two. If you're not exercising at all, you definitely don't want to have an abundance of carbohydrates because carbs are your body's preferred energy source. You don't need an abundance of the energy macro if you're not doing things that require you to use a lot of energy. So after you limit your fat to 20 to 30 grams per day, you can begin cycling your carbohydrates. There's tons of ways to cycle your carbohydrates, but one example of a way to start a low fat carbohydrate cycling plan would be to cycle between high, low, and no carb days. On the high carb day, you would have a high amount of carbs by eating a few servings of either brown rice, quinoa, buckwheat, oatmeal, yams, sweet potatoes, and grits, and you would eat a couple servings from any of these carb sources for your first three meals of the day. And make sure you combine each of those carb sources with at least three ounces of protein. After your first three meals, try to stick to only protein and veggies for the rest of the day. Also, don't be afraid to have a lot of carbs on your high carb day. You want for there to be a difference in the amount of carbs you're having between each of your days. You can't create that difference with low carb, low carb, low carb. High carb has to be high carb. I used to have over 300 grams of carbs on my high carb day and still lose weight. You want to have a minimum of 100 to 150 grams of carbs on your high carb day. On the next day, you're going to have your low carb day in which you're going to pick from sources like beans, lentils, chickpeas, or squash. You're going to include these carb sources with your first three meals and include a lean source of protein with each meal. The general rule of thumb for your low carb day is to have half the amount of carbs that you had on your high carb day. And finally, on your third day, you're going to have no carbs at all and you're going to limit yourself to only protein and green veggies. So we're talking about chicken breast, low fat fish, egg whites, and other lean sources of protein and also include two to three cups of veggies for the day. Repeat these three days over and over again over the course of four to six weeks. Doing a plan like this will get you losing weight fast even without exercising. The second way to do this that I said I was going to talk about today is to limit your carbohydrates completely rather than your fat. The best way to do this would be in more of a ketogenic approach in which you get your body to begin using fat for energy rather than carbs. Just to make it simple, I'm going to sum up the ketogenic approach with five basic bullet points. Number one, absolutely no carbs except for carbs very, very high in fiber like spinach. Spinach is pretty much all fiber. Number two, have excess amounts of fat by adding oils and butters to your meals, eating nuts, cheese, and fatty meats like beef and high 
high fat fish. In general, you just really want to up your fat in your diet. The third thing you want to do is create a macronutrient split that you follow that's very high in fat. A good split to follow would be 70% fat and 30% protein. The fourth thing is that there is absolutely no cheating on a ketogenic plan because as soon as you reintroduce sugar or carbohydrates back into your diet, your body will immediately begin using that preferred source and it'll take you out of ketosis. So it's going to take you some time to get back into ketosis and get back to losing weight again. So no cheating with sugar or carbohydrates. And number five, don't overeat. Fat is the most calorie dense macronutrient that there is. So all you'll probably need is three fatty meals per day as those meals will easily account for your total allotted daily calories. Again, make sure you're tracking your calories and your macros when first starting this kind of plan to make sure that you're not having a crazy amount of calories. It's really easy to exceed when having a lot of fat. That's it guys. I really hope this video has helped you guys out. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more videos and tips just like this one, you can subscribe to my channel. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to work with me or one of my trainers online or get fresh fat loss meals delivered directly to your house, you can visit my website. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Pump it.